owner of Lice Doctors, along with Wendy Beck, who is on vacation right now. I'm here to answer some of your most commonly asked questions about head lice. In general, people want to know what are head lice. Head lice are parasites that survive only on the human head. You will not find them on your bed, at least not for very long because they die when they're not on the head. You won't find them on your clothes. You won't find them on your backpack for very long. The reason for that is head lice need the human blood and the human temperature in order to survive. So unlike bed bugs, we can survive for, for days, weeks, even months when, when off, the, off the human body, uh, head lice have to be on the human head to survive. Now, where do you get head lice? The, the most common way that you get head lice is from another person's head. So kids are the most likely candidates for head lice because they play in close contact with each other. It's really not a big worry uh, um, about transferring head lice from an object. Head lice are almost exclusively transferred from head to head. And the reason for that is the louse does not want to be off of the head. They, uh, there's no food or good temperature for, for a louse on, to hang out on a couch or um, on a sweatshirt. Um, once on that object, if it happens to fall out of your head, the louse will die within a few hours. So the way that a louse moves is it crawls from your head, down your hair, like a ladder, and over to someone else's hair where it will grab hold of the hair. Their little claws are made for um, to grab hold of very tiny, thin, objects such as a, a, um, a hair strand and will shimmy right up to the top to your head. Once there, it will cling onto a strand of hair and it will make itself at home feeding. Now, who can get head lice? The truth is, is that anybody with hair can get head lice. There's no reason why um, uh, somebody even with a crew cut, uh, a buzz cut, can't get hair because all the louse needs to, to survive is to hang on to a little tiny piece of hair and then use it as a perch to feed from the scalp. Now, it's easier to find head lice that's in a, in a buzz cut because there's, you, can, you can see them more easily. When there's a lot of hair, it's hard to find them. Now, um, what um, are signs of head lice? Well. A likely sign of head lice is scratching. If you see your child going like this incessantly, check it out and see if you find any lice in the hair. But not everybody has symptoms of head lice. There are some people who have lice and get, get lice bites and don't feel a thing. Just like people with mosquitoes, the same, the same kind of thing. Then there's others who are super sensitive to the saliva that the louse excretes when it secretes when it uh, bites and they may start scratching vehemently when there's one louse in the hair. So in general though, most people will start to scratch and feel itchy once the um, lice case has, has expanded to the point where there are several lice in the hair. Now, one louse can lay six to 10 eggs a day. So a case of lice, will it go away by itself? No, it will only continue to get worse. So if you find that you have um, found lice at an early stage, or there's just a couple of bugs and a few eggs, you're lucky. Um, if you think that you can wait it out, that's not possible. The case will only continue to get worse. Um, now, how do you get rid of lice? Well, you need to physically remove the eggs from the hair um, or, and or suffocate the bugs. Now, once you've suffocated the bugs with some kind of oil or something that gets in the breathing apparatus, you can start to comb and remove the bugs. You also can um, uh, slide the eggs down more easily. Eggs have an impenetrable shell so that you cannot just put some kind of chemical on it and expect the eggs to, to um, absorb the chemical. It doesn't work that way. And how do you prevent lice? We recommend using um, either a lice repellent, Lice Doctors has one, or some kind of um, gel mousse or spray to put 
a protective coating around the hair, making it harder for lice to attach to the hair. Um, in order to completely guarantee that you'll never get lice, you have to remain in a bubble. So um, lice are very commonplace. It doesn't mean that you're dirty, lice like clean hair. It's just a fact of life today that lice are very popular, commonplace. And lice doctors can help you get rid of them. It's hard to be able to do it when it's your first time and you don't really know what you're looking for because the eggs and the bugs camouflage in the hair. We know what we're looking for and we can help you out. So if you find lice, call Lice Doctors at 800-224-2537. And I hope I've answered some of your most common lice questions today. Thank you. Bye-bye.